the ocean is the one thing I can't talk about because because it's gonna we're gonna have a very paradoxical and drunken conversation really we're gonna be just two drunks having a hug talking about almost like I often say it's like lightning and thunder we're the thunder the words of the thunder which come long time after the the luminosity of the lightning they're like drunken guests to a party I call them they come late and they've missed the party and they're trying to describe it but it's just a song it's just a drunken paradoxical song that sings about really that the silence and the words are not two different things, that the listener and the speaker are not two different things. I've just had travelled about for, I don't know, years and years, just having cups of tea, having drunken conversations, because there is no such thing as non-duality, and simultaneously there is no something which is duality. Both, both are just drunken terms. And again, there's no gap between the words and the silence. There's no gap between that word duality or that word non-duality. Because there, there is no something to be two or to be one or to be non. Well, it's, it's, the system is dependent on it. Language is dependent on it. The whole, our brains you could say, our development out of the conversation between what we call time and space and the other object which we call the body. So the, the, the development, you know, the, the five senses are, because they're a utility mechanism, they are a mechanism that hugely, hugely simplifies and fills like a like a, a modern camera. It fill, it stabilizes all these edges and fills in any gaps and cr makes these edges into like orderly holes that then can be patterned. And then those patterns, um, the body learned how to put them into a hierarchy. And the, the ones that had most utility for it. It just made those things, as it were, into things. And it, through the wonderful uh, magic trick of predicting that there must be a centre, a separate something that is a tree, that is an apple, that is a cup of tea, that is an Emerson, that is a Paul. And yet, a centre has never been measured, has never been known. It's only the relational between things. That have, has ever, that's where knowledge, time and space, language, that's where it plays drunkenly. But the illusion, there is no ignorance, it's just the illusion of knowledge, basically. Biting that apple in the Garden of Eden was slightly problematic in only one sort of way, because it has utility, otherwise we wouldn't be having this conversation. It's the fly in the ointment is the prediction in that mechanism, because it has utility to be able to pattern and to be able to map, but there must be a centre to these edges.